The More Better Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the More Better Podcast. Bo, 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 bo. Pew, pew, pew. It's April, That's and right. if you're listening to this uh-huh. right now, uh, Jackie and I were probably in Melbourne. That's right, but we're not recording in Melbourne. We are recording here in Singapore. Mm-hmm. So you are now watching this in the future. Yeah, as we are recording this, time traveling. It's time traveling. Yeah. It's 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 almost amazing because the things that we are going to talk about will be in tune with the time That's that you right. are listening. Like That's for right. example, yeah. shows. Shows are going to happen. Yeah. During the time that you're listening Because uh-huh. on the 28th of March All the way to the 5th uh, Actually no On the 28th of March All the way to the 7th of April uh-huh. I will be having my show That's At right. the Melbourne International Comedy Festival So mm. I will be selling my show At the Melbourne International Comedy Festival So get your tickets on the link in my bio Because it's my first time Having a solo run mm. In Melbourne And mm. I'm really really looking forward to that So Dope. do that and, 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 and keep your money now if you need to save money because in August, oh. I am going to have my big show mm. at the Esplanade. Mm. At the Esplanade. It is going to be out there at the mm. Esplanade. Mm. And a lot of guys are going to be there. It's always so, a blast. You know, make sure you get Go your there. tickets. Boom. Yep. Right. Yep. Jackie, you got a show coming up? I have, uh, well, this is in April, so I, I don't have anything confirmed yet. But yes. I just want to let people know that I am also mm. at the Melbourne Comedy Festival. Mm-hmm. My accommodations for the festival as of right now are not booked yet Mm -hmm. because I have a friend that told me I can live with him Mm -hmm. on the condition that he finds a house. I thought that it was on the condition of other things. No, he has to... He Right now, he's homeless. Right, right. No, so I thought that you had to do other things to him in order to uh, confirm shelter. But oh, no, no, apparently... No. Okay. He just he just needs to go and find a house. Right, because right. Because the way you phrased it, it was like on condition that I, I was like, oh, shit. Right. No, but, but no. So I just, I just want people to know that... Uh, if you don't see me active on social media, I, I might not even be around. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he might be part of the hopeless problem in Melbourne. In Melbourne. Uh, so, that's exciting. Not that I know that if there is a homeless problem in Melbourne, probably... There, there, there should be a homeless problem everywhere. Just how big a problem it is. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. that's the shows. Those are the shows Those happening. are the shows, guys. Right next to the meth heads. That's right. Okay? If you the find plugs. any meth heads, you will find a comedy club uh, very close by. That's right. You know, at least... Three feet. I don't know how a feet is. Let's say 10 meters. A feet oh. is the length of a subway. Oh, right? a the foot long. long. Yeah. yeah. One feet. Yeah, then you like, we're cutting in half. It's a six it's inch. A, it's a six inch. So yeah. that's a six inch and that's a foot long. Yeah. Six inch is actually quite big. Huh? Uh, okay. It, yeah, for some men. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's actually quite big. It's like insanely big. It is, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, so not six inch, but a couple of feet away from homeless people. That's where you find comedy clubs and that's where you can get our shows. Mm-hmm. Finally, if you are a sponsor watching this, mm. we would love to have your product here. Mm. But if you are a listener right now and you're thinking that we want to make the podcast better, mm. you can do so by liking our... Uh, all our socials. All Instagram, our socials. TikTok, uh, Fol- YouTube, subscribe. Follow our Instagram page. Yeah. Uh, follow our uh, TikTok page. Yeah. Uh, get on the YouTube and yeah. watch them shorts. By the by, this time I'm pretty sure they've been uploaded. You know, yeah. we 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 our numbers on YouTube are slowly coming up. Yeah, and then Spotify. also on Spotify, yeah. help us reach top ten again yeah. because we missed that spot. Those were the best days of our lives. Those were the best days of our lives. Right now we are flexing yeah. at number thirty. Yeah, and and it just feels like it's a it's how humbling experience. Yeah, Can when, when we were top ten, we were we were like flying high, man. Remember those days when we were just going around, winning the hair. Mm, remember we how much money 10. the box earned us when we were top 10 huh. Huh. that was the mm. best $58 I've ever spent in yeah. my life right you know like 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 I was balling bro yeah I was balling bro yeah. I bought so many packets of Indomie you have I, no idea I bought so much toys back then you are a toy freak I'm though. a toy you are a toy, I'm a toy man you are a toy man <laughs> there's, no, there's no use the word freak let's okay, okay, okay try to let's try to is it der- derogatory Freak. Hmm. Would you like it if I call you a Malay freak? Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm not a Malay freak, okay? Exactly, I'm not a toy freak. Okay, I'm yeah. a Malay frazri. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Fra- oh, yeah, it's also Spotify, there are like questions. If, I was you, about if, to say like, that. if you're listening to this on Spotify, mm-hmm. right, like you're on a train, take out your phone. Hmm. And answer those questions. Yeah, just take out your phone. Hiya, yeah. today uh, I go back home. Uh, I got nothing to do. Uh. Yeah, just answer the questions. Why do I sound like I'm from China? Uh, 
because there is deep seated racism in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> What is the most neutral Singaporean accent that 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 you can make? Like the okay. most neutral. Your honor? No, it's not your honor. Senator, I'm a Singaporean. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is the most neutral uh, uh Singaporean accent? I think it's those like um you know Lee Kuan Yew's accent. Yeah. Uh, in order for us uh, like, he, they pronounce Singapore Singapore. 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 Yeah, because it's poor, P O R E. Uh, Singapore. Yeah. Uh, whoever governs Singapore needs to have that iron in him. But that's not neutral though. That sounds quite British. Yeah, you, wh- right? why, why do they sound British back then? Uh? Because it's you- the British system, uh, right? Yeah. Right, like they have to wear the wig when they go into the court and shit like that. Like it's all, it's all the, the that's all the great things that they left for us. Uh, the, 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 the you mean the, the wig? Yeah, the white the wig. The syphilis wig. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, wig yeah. that they wore because they wanted to hide that they were losing their hair from yeah, syphilis. Yeah, yeah, the judges, the judge wig. The but judge. all of this are like all of our legal system is all left back by the British. Right? Uh, that's what they right, also right, right, right. Yeah, he does sound British though. Yeah, I never beat my wife. <laughs> I never beat my wife. It's like asking me if I beat my wife. <laughs> I never beat my wife. Is that is that is that? That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what our founding is, father said. Is that a good British accent, F- like from you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon that I make a good British accent? For sure. Yeah. I mean, like if if you were in London right now, okay, people would be like, "Whoa, <laughs> that's a good British accent." If I went to <laughs> London for two weeks, uh-huh. if I went to London for two weeks, uh-huh. I you? think I could come back with a British accent. Yeah. I think I could. I think I'm that guy. Do you think if you were living in London for two weeks, you would eat at Singapura every day? Where the fuck is <laughs> they that? They open a new Singaporean restaurant in London called Singapura. Are you fucking crazy? I swear. Bacho me, $26. <laughs> in London. I mean, in London, Old Chunky Curry Puff, four pounds. Uh, whoa. Four pounds. But I mean, like. Hey, if, over here, how much are Old Chunky? $220. Two fifty, two dollars. Four around. pounds is a lot of money, Four man. Pounds. But also, mm. like, if you think about it, if I am an expat living yeah. in 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 England, mm. right? I expect suggest that I have you know sizable pay packet. Yeah, I will pay four pounds, lah. Because if if I miss home, I will pay four pounds for old chunky. You know but I mean? it's not for the. It's not for the. What do you call this? The uh, quality. No, no, no. I mean, it's not for the expats though. It's for the locals. Like they are selling. Oh wait, you're saying because they're, they're like I'm homesick, I'm a Singaporean, right. I would I would definitely do that. Right, 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 right. right, right. Well, like, if I'm homesick, I would like tell my my colleagues in the office, like, hey, let's go to this place, let me tell you about mm. the great food of Singapore. And they call it Singapura? Sing- the, the new restaurant Singapura. Singapura. <laughs> <laughs> pula is like uh I, I don't know how to say pula in uh, English, but pula in Malay is like uh Ah yeah, now this uh, you know, oh. like eat me pula, you know. So it's like singa pula. Right, like ah, uh, don't know what to eat. And so that's to I don't know why. That was the most pudding. uncle thing I've ever did. I felt <laughs> it. I felt the uncle in my veins when I did that. But you, you know? cannot fight it anymore because you are it, you are an uncle already. It what, almost right? is like that, you know. I was singa pula, like, and and I felt like you know when you make a dad joke, and yeah. as a comedian, like you you you're aware of that. Yeah. And I felt it in my soul, in my veins. All right. That moment. That was the most uncle moment I've ever felt. But you are an uncle already, you know what I mean? I am an you uncle. Have, you have a, a niece and a nephew. My nephew called me today because I told him, I said like, hey man, uh, he likes this book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay. Right? So we went to this uh, restaurant uh-huh. uh, to eat and he was like reading. He's like fake, re- like he fake reading. Like he just wanted attention. La. But you know, <laughs> but but I guess like because he he loved the reaction that people were giving him when he was reading. Right. Uh, and, but I will give him the benefit of the doubt that he actually likes the book. Right. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he liked the attention too of people going like, so smart mm. boy, you read, huh? Mm. And then I was like, no way this kid. Reads. I grew up with you. I mean, like right. I, I've seen you grow. I know where you 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 could read. And then and then I I heard him. I, <laughs> you don't think your nephew can read? That's <laughs> listen. If you set your expectations low, <laughs> it's lesser chance of disappointment. For sure. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's you lesser must be chance so proud of, of him. Yeah. And then I told him to read paragraph after paragraph. The fella can read, lah. Yeah. The fella can read. And then he he. Then I was like, uh, what was this word? Significant. Ah, uh, what's this word? Transparent. Wow. What's this word? And I was like, not bad, ah, Fali. You can read. And then he looks at me. I passed my oral. <laughs> like he looked at me like weird. Like, are you are you an idiot? Yeah. I passed my oral. Yeah. How how uh, primary <laughs> what is this? Primary <laughs> two, primary three? Pre- is primary three, ah. Primary three, yeah, dude. Yeah. If you cannot read, you wouldn't be Wait, in primary nine three. Old, nine years old, primary three, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, nine years old, primary three. Seven primary one. Seven primary one. Yeah, nine years old. Yeah, nine years old. He looked at me. I was like, 
I pass I pass my oral. Yeah, I mean, and you know, he wouldn't be in primary three if he cannot read. <laughs> <laughs> it's so many exams <laughs> to <laughs> take <laughs> that you cannot read. <laughs> okay. 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 At least three, at least three major okay. English exams is taken, <laughs> which he has passed. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to get to yeah. and here I am, the uh, big head of my uncle. Yeah. Carry it on. You sure on? You sure on? Carry. Yeah. So he's like, are you okay? Or? Like, <laughs> no, 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 you look at me like, hey, bro. Yeah. <laughs> my order, bro. <laughs> you should tell him like set your expectations for Uncle Lowell. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, no, I feel Should so stupid. I feel, I feel so dumb. Okay, then, oh my God, I'm fucking crying, but I feel so dumb. Oh my God, okay. So then, and then I was oh no, now that I feel stupid, oh, yeah. because I did feel stupid when he looked at me and he was like, I passed my order, Lowell. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then I went like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should uh, take um, uh, maybe I should take initiative to like encourage him lah, encourage yeah. him to like read, right? Yeah. So I told him I say like, uh, okay, Falik, if you can tell Uncle the story of this diary of a wimpy kid, mm-hmm. I will, I will buy you, I will buy you the next book, ah, oh. the next diary of a wimpy kid book, yeah, 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 right? And then, <laughs> and then if you can tell me the story, and then after that he calls me today, and then he's like, halfway through I'm eating right. He said, like, I know the story already. I said, Why, what, what's the story? And I said, like, oh, is this boy lah? This boy lah, he do sports. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Okay, yeah. what else does he do? He likes to play soccer lah. Ah. Like his friends like to play soccer. Okay. Now I asked him a question. I said like, why do they call him uh, Wimpy? Yeah. Yeah, what's Wimpy? And he was like, I don't know, skinny? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I overestimated the boy. <laughs> he, was like, he, was like, he was like, he was like, I don't know, skinny. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I was like, then, he was, then, then I asked him, I said, are his other friends wimpy too? He said, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> In so the morning. He's clearly making up the <laughs> story, bro. <laughs> and then he said, then what else happened? I said, every day he goes to school and then he comes home. Lah. And that's, that's, that's the story. Lah. And then he turns around to the last page, Uncle, I want this book. Right. <laughs> and I thought I said, but I don't want you to to tell me to buy more books. If you're not going to gonna read the books, then I'm gonna yeah. waste money on books. Cause like I think that you're reading the books. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I say, okay, I then buy me food, I hungry. <laughs> Well, I, I, I admire the hustle. But don't hustle your own uncle lah. You know no, what I mean? No, no, no. I'm, I'm happy with that. But it's just like, yeah. I got taken for like a whole <laughs> ride. And all this while, I thought this kid was dumb. But like, I thought this motherfucker couldn't read. Yeah. But like, he can do more than just yeah, read. Yeah, he could. He can con you. <laughs> That's calling me. Yeah. Right? And then he goes like, uh, and then what, I ask him, what do you want to eat? And he goes like, uh... I don't know. I'm kind of hung. I know. I'm very hungry. And I said, like, okay, 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 okay. I'll buy you. I'll, I'll buy you something. I'll buy you McDonald's. Okay, like, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> and then, then he was like, maybe some bread. <laughs> <laughs> but you stay quite close to him. I'm assuming. No, can... I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I I wanted to call him a grab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, hey, no way, lah, like, right? No way. Like so I called Farah. Mm. And I called Farah. I said, hey, your favorite nephew's hungry. You know, and he's alone at home. And then Farah's like, oh no, no, no. And then he texts me after that. He's like, he asked me to buy him donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Hustle his way. And the donuts are $16. Eh. This From child, where? Uh, $16 donuts. I don't know, probably bought like a dozen. A dozen, right. What's your favorite donut? Uh? I, I like Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Uh. Is Dunkin' still a thing? It is, it is. Actually, Dunkin', um, if if I'm up early, like mm. if I'm like on the way out or whatever, they got good like coffee and you can get like a donut and coffee deal. Can I just say, some of these coffee places, right? Yeah. Like some of these places that don't really serve coffee but like have coffee as like a side. Yeah. There's no reason for your coffee to be piping hot. <laughs> like insanely hot. <laughs> like your, so- like burn your face, melt your teeth kind of hot. Yeah. Like what are you trying to do? You're trying to weld my mouth together, is it? No, no they want it to be as hot as possible because some people are not drinking it immediately. Some people are taking it, they're going to go to their office. Uh, yeah, you know okay. what I mean? Then by the time cold, they complain. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, so fast cold. Uh, well, exactly. it never make hotter. Uh, yeah. But isn't coffee supposed to like be the best at a certain temperature? If if you're like a purist, right? If you're mm. if you're making your own pour overs and things like that, yeah, then yeah. then yeah. But 
I mean, if you're getting coffee from there, you, you don't you don't really care about the quality, lah. That's right? true. That's true. Yeah, that's but true. I, I I don't know. In coffee shops, mm. you can ask them for half. Mm. Uh, po po asio, you know what I mean? Po, po or like room temperature, like oh, like they, they will just add water to make it not as hot. Can I just say half hot? Mm. Shout out to all the seventy year old aunties mm. who are working at Kopi Tiam, sir, yeah. and pouring hot, 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 fuck. hot fucking coffee, hot, dipping their wrinkled hands, yeah, uh, yeah. into the f- into the pot of hot water. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe not dipping, mm. but very close. Mm. Okay, so, so please splash. Yeah, yeah. So please splash on the hand. Yeah. And pouring, and then holding the metal cup like it's nothing. Yeah. You guys are warriors. I don't it's, know how you do it. It's a superpower on its own. I, I, I think it's just, they they, they they develop like that that resistance to the hot. Like, you know, like at first, mm. like a bit hot, a bit hot. But then like, over time, I bet their hands rough as fuck. Careless ah. Uh. Yeah. Slap your face. Confirm got mark. Got or chair. You know last time got this auntie at my uh, house coffee shop that makes the coffee mm. and so, well usually they have like one person to take your order, one person to make the coffee. Uh. Right? But then this time only one auntie there mm. just standing there and I'm like auntie I want uh, kopi peng siu tai. Mm. And she just doesn't respond. <laughs> like, auntie kopi peng siu tai. Uh, come, uh, auntie kopi peng siu tai then she turned. She's like, oh, sorry I, I deaf. I like, bruh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't, no, it was not an overreaction. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect that. You, no, yeah, me, me too, because, like, I have nothing against handicapped people. But, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have nothing against handicapped people? No, you nothing have something. At all. No, no, no. You have something. Did my, I think my problem with this situation yeah. specifically yeah. is the allocation of the job. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were going to say allocation of handicapped people. No, 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 no. Because a- people, do you, you agree handicapped people should at least be allocated according they to They should be allocated handicap. according to the handicapped. Yeah. <laughs> according to the area. Exactly. Yes, because... <laughs> yeah, this if, is a deaf neighborhood. <laughs> if, if, if you are deaf, you can make coffee. I believe you. <laughs> but you are not going to be the one to take orders. La. Don't like... <laughs> You know what I mean? If you're deaf, you probably uh, have, you know, one sense uh, less. Your other senses are heightened. Your taste buds are probably dope. You oh, can yo, make great I, I coffee. I trust your coffee. That's the pro- I yeah, trust. But don't put her to take the order la, because... Because <laughs> it will take a long time yeah, it, for me to give the order. Yeah, exactly. For her to take the order. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For her to take the order. Yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, oh my God. Then blind neighborhood. What? No massage. To... Actually, blind massage. That's, no, that's no, what they do, right? Yeah, blind massage. Yeah, that's like, I, I, do you think if you're a blind boy growing up, <laughs> you would dream of becoming a masseuse? No, I think if I was a blind boy growing up, I'd probably like want to like be a musician because I would think like, you know, I'm like Stevie Wonder or some shit. Right. You know? Like, you know? Have you ever yeah. seen like there's so many memes of Stevie Wonder? Like, do you think people bother to paint Stevie Wonder's house? <laughs> like what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if the painters came in and then say like, okay, boss, job finished. Done, yeah. And then I said, really? Yeah. yeah. See, smell. Finish, <laughs> <laughs> finish. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah. I mean, if I was his worker, I probably you wouldn't. Do you, do you ever heard the story that uh, Stevie Wonder, like uh, the Sultan of Brunei, this is a legend. Uh, I don't know if it's real or not. <laughs> this is a fucking don't come at me, uh, Sultan of Brunei. I love you. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so they said that Sultan Brunei or Sultan, the, 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 who I, somebody from the mm. Brunei royal family mm. at that time, uh, wanted Stevie wanted to come over to one of their events uh, to perform. Yeah, and then uh, Stevie was like, uh, "No, nah, I mean, I want to go to another place. Uh, no, mm. he wasn't free or whatever." Mm. So they actually told him, "I think I think Stevie needed to go to Australia or something." Mm. I said, "Okay." <laughs> so I said, "Fly here, la. They flew him to Brunei. <laughs> they flew him to Brunei and told him he's in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up. It's, so, it's a legend. It's a legend. I don't know. You gotta go Google it. Okay, but uh, wow, that's uh, I never heard of that. But I, I mean, I wish they did it. Honestly, if honestly, I am, if I am blind and when be, if if I was blind, people play, play some kind of pranks on me. I think I think I'll be okay. You know why? You know what? <laughs> no, the funny part is not the fact that he did that and, and they did that and then they try to convince no and then they told him that it's Australia. It's convincing him that it's Australia. Everybody around him <laughs> these <laughs> Malays have to speak with a fake Australian yeah, accent. Mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. Hello, mate. Nice to meet you, mate. Good day, mate. <laughs> 
Today mate You going to sing there mate Gede You alright Stevie Wonder text her at 5 They say Stevie Wonder used to text people at 5am But he don't know He don't know <laughs> <laughs> Just because you can't tell the time. <laughs> What a legend Stevie Wonder is. I feel like he, he he's rapping blind people. He takes all the hits. You know what I mean? Yeah, When yeah. you make blind jokes, it's all on him. Yeah. And yeah, and he and he's the bigger man. He can take it. Actually, Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder uh, got to live in the same... T- like they were in... And, and there was an era where the both of them were together at the same time. That must yeah. have been a trip, right? Knowing like... As Ray Charles, knowing that Stevie is... I mean, how would you know? But like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, people would tell them, I guess. You just have to believe your word yeah, for it, right? Yeah, you <laughs> you blind, uh? I'm so blind. Sure, no, sure, no, sure, no. Yeah, naturally, that's a pretty good. Like, if I ever met a famous blind person, I would, I would probably introduce myself as blind to them also, <laughs> oh just to make that connection. Wasn't you know? there this famous blind, like, uh, <laughs> blind, like in Singapore, there was this talent show? Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. On friends? Channel U, the the the, the project superstar. Oh, yeah. Chen Wei Lian, right? Chen Wei Lian. The guy that sings Tonghua, right? <laughs> yeah, because I think that was like a period, like when he first started, he used to sing with shades. Yeah. Right? And then there was like one particular performance in like the top eight or whatever where yeah. he just sang without the shades. He just like, fuck it, I need to connect to the audience. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> audience felt so connected. Yeah. But, but yeah, he yeah. eventually but won. But was, right? was his eyes all, you yeah. know? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I mean, it wasn't. It was working. Ah, uh, the eyes were working. Ah, uh, trying to look right, for right. a connection. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no Wi-Fi. You know, when you go to a different country, then it's like searching. Yeah, that's what the eyes were doing. That's what his eyes were doing. <laughs> trying to connect with oh, the that's car. Oh, that's so fucked up, bro. Okay, you know what's more fucked up? Like. The first- <laughs> This is so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, bro, I'm so looking hot. for the deepest hole. Okay, okay, you know, you know what's more about that? Like, like, no, whenever I remember that guy, is because like my 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 grandma at that time, like we uh, big stay, fan staying at house. <laughs> no, and then she's like, she was like, was flipping channels. I like, you know yeah. grandmas are flipping channels. And then like one time she she flipped the channel you, and then like he came on and he was singing, and then it was like, hey, si buta ni. <laughs> He just, you know what I mean? Like, no idea. Hey, this blind fella, <laughs> fucked up, bro. <laughs> God rest her soul, lah. But, but Ooh. damn, bro. It what was, happened to him? Is that Calvin Chen Wei Lin? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's. I mean, he's still talented. I'm I mean, sure. Because yeah. he play guitar, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can play guitar. Can play guitar, can sing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what happened to that one guy that was in front of um? Remember that guy that was in front of the, you know, the cinema, the oh, shop. Uh, no, no, shop, shop. Cathay, Cathay, Cathay. Oh, the, I know what I'm talking about. The guy yeah, that's in front of Cathay, yeah, he used to like attract so many people. Yeah, yeah. I think he got cancelled by one of his girlfriend exes, right? Yeah. Say he was like abusive or something. He's like, right? Yeah, he's like he say he would tell the girlfriend, "Uh, I got gig tonight. You don't come because mm. if you come, the girls won't come talk to me." Fair. He will bring city boys. Yeah, and then he will bring, and then he will say, "Stay home." And then if he's bringing girls back to the house, he would tell the girl to stay in the room. Oh. And then I don't know what the fuck they're doing there, lah. And so it was a big thing, ah. And then after they got cancelled, and also Wait. apparently, like he has done gigs where, like, if he's busking, mm. a lot of people come. Mm. But if he's doing like a bar gig, mm. and then people are not listening to him mm. because that's what a bar gig is. Mm. You are just playing background music. He gets mm. pissed off, no? He be like, "Hello, can you pay attention?" No? Like, like wow. he demands the he demands the attention like a superstar. Because definitely the big crowd at Cathay makes you feel like a superstar, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to realize that there are levels, lah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, If you're like the, playing a buggy, you're playing a buggy, mm, guy. It doesn't matter who you are. I mean, the big crowd that you gather were the, was the crowd that liked your shit, lah, right? And I, I felt like he could still have capitalized on that. So he should have like fucking recorded and sold CDs or some shit. I mean, not that CDs are still in trend, lah. But yeah, like but also have... he doesn't write songs, you see. Right. He's all right. covers. Like he, like from what I read and remember, he, mm. he, he considers himself. Uh, technically, on mm. the same level as like JJ Lin and J Chang, because his voice sounds his voice, the same, right? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, but he, but he's, but he doesn't write any original music. Uh-huh. So, if you're not gonna write any, uh-huh. then you're gonna be a fucking bass singer for, for your life, lah. If right. you're not, if you're not gonna be comfortable in that area where people don't listen to you, then so you it's know. off being a JJ Lin impersonator per se. Ish, ish. Uh. Not, not, not really impersonator, lah. But someone that can really sing his songs very well, lah. Yeah. Man. 
it was crowded though fucking crazy like crazy, right? yeah when you take the bus pass like wow so many people he had his time uh, bro that yeah guy. and also that, that was like right out of covid also so then mm-hmm. i guess he was he caught a he caught lightning in the bottle yeah. right like People are allowed to bask. He found a great spot, mm. and then yeah, just generated and so time much also hype. Like bar and everything, you still you still can't go to yeah, bars. Yeah, and they yeah. were playing music in bars and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so those girls or whoever like, were just there. And yeah. the thing about these Chinese girls when they support, what wow, they really support? They really bro. support. They hold they the signs. Really they really support. Hold the there was this Belinda Lee or something like uh, you know yeah, those yeah, like, yeah. like Channel Eight, like, Channel 8 right? Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, like Belinda Wine, eh? yeah, guys. Mm. So, you know, like like. Desmond Wong Desmond yeah. But uh, I mean I, I think most Of the media corp Artists Have their own fan club Yeah I, I feel like It's probably organized In a way by Media corp Media corp Right Right Like every single one Will have like a fan club Like to make them feel Like the star Yeah And then like They will come together To celebrate the The actor's birthday Or whatever yeah. Last time when we were on 50 ways Yeah Right Like Desmond's fan club Came to buy Desmond's a cake. fan club sat in the same bus yeah, that yeah, we yeah. were in to yeah. go to shoot. Yeah. Where I was featuring Desmond. Like Desmond rolled with his fan club, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there was like four or five uh, uh girls at the time and they followed me on Instagram because uh I was friends with Desmond. So I yeah. guess they were like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Right? And then Desmond was like, Yeah, we were doing an episode together, we were chilling, we were talking, and these girls were just like his fans, huh? They were like, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. I make this, uh, this is for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I think they came. Partly because we also needed extras for the app. Yeah. But then they also came because it was like Desmond's birthday the next week and then he's flying overseas. So that's like their last chance to celebrate his birthday with him in person. The fact What do you think the final like achievement would be for somebody who's like in a in a fan club of a you know what I mean? To like a, a president of the fan club? No, like a yeah, yeah, right. Like a fan club of like a handsome guy yeah you know you be the president uh. you be the president of the, the handsome girls, guy fan club the new if the new girls want to join you gotta fucking sign up and talk to me first uh. i mean that's a you gotta that's prove a, your friend you gotta wow. prove your fanship wow fight the you know you yeah. think you can organize fights within the fan club <laughs> and then you watch and then be like who wants to get the super fan badge i feel then, like it's and then possible you can just box i feel like it's possible with i i, I don't know about the it's hard for us to imagine how crazy the fan clubs are mm. for the media corp um, artists mm. because we don't feel that same hype for them. But I feel like mm. uh, the influencers, like fans of like uh, Ruru Sama, Kiara Kitty, yeah. these are fans that would really do anything for them. Man. Well, Kiara Kitty fans definitely would do a lot. Like if you yeah. guys don't know, Kiara Kitty is a local Singaporean. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, she, well, you know, uh, that guy called Lightning in a Bottle uh, Kiara caught farts in a bottle. Yeah, and then three hundred bucks a yeah, bottle, three, and then made that into an enterprise where three hundred bucks a bottle. Which is a which is a question you really want to ask yourself, like whose farts would you buy? Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> do you wanna Do you wanna share? Uh, I I I me yeah. me. I think I would buy Rihanna's farts, not because I want to smell Rihanna's farts, yeah. because I just want the bottle in my house. Uh, to tell people like, hey, uh, by the way, okay, here's a vase that I bought from Bali. Uh-huh. Uh, here's a gong that I bought from Turkey. Yeah. And this is a bottle of Rihanna's farts. Right. Well, I um, I would I would buy Ho Ching's farts. No further questions. Moving on. Huh. 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 Wow. You can't even puff my dad because that's my personal opinion. That, I would, that I would is, buy. That is your personal opinion. Yeah, no for the questions. Yeah, uh, uh, wait, 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 you see, I, I, I okay. This, you have questions? This, no, 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 no. I think we need to bring a uh, Chisu John back. Well, he's back actually. <laughs> he's back. He's back. He's written a new book. We're oh, recording this. We're recording this in March. So yeah. he actually just released his book. He right. released a TikTok video talking about how the the, the the incumbent government has like very low morals. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a crisis of moral value or something like that. Okay. And then he's promoting his book. If you buy his book, mm. you get 10% off at his restaurant. Nice. He, will, he has a restaurant? He has a restaurant. Two branches now. One in mm. Rochester, one in Marina Square. What do they sell? What does Jesus do? Western food. Western food? Orange and teal. And then, he will, and then he play guitar. He will play oh live music God. in his own yeah. thing. And so he is, well, right now, mm. in March, we, we're listening to this in April, but in March, he is like in the Marina Bay restaurant. Mm. You go, you buy the book, he will sign for you. The book gets you like 10, 20% off at the restaurant. Shit. Yeah. Actually, he's, he's quite a cool guy. You know, he's, he's, he's quite a cool guy. Like He's he's, he's been fighting a lot. Like, he's the forever <laughs> warrior. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's always like, the PAP. He has a mm-hmm. yeah. But here's the thing about like, 
it's it's the it's it's a very uh, fascinating thing about the oppositions here mm. uh, versus the oppositions in other countries where like their political uh, situation is a bit more violent. Yeah. Like here. SDP can take picture with PAP and post together. Eh. Of course. You I know what I mean? Not, yeah. WP MPs can take picture with PAP MPs and sit down in the same coffee shop and go like, hey, what's up? Yeah. That can never exist in any other country, bro. I mean, in next door alone, you don't do that. You just join the other party the week after you <laughs> win elections. You know, or you lose elections, you join the winning party elections. That one can. Yeah. But take pictures together... A bit too much, ah, bro. A but, bit too much, ah. But the opposition here, I think they've always maintained like that position of being a responsible opposition. Mm. Meaning they are not here to fucking take over the government. Right. They are here to check the government. That's that's been their stance for the longest time. Right. They, we are, right. they don't want to take over. They just want to mm. give every uh like the people in Singapore like kind of like an, 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 like an alternative, alternative voice. La. La. Yeah. An alternative voice. La. So yeah, so I I think that's like within that context you can understand mm. how the politicians work. Like. And I think they are very careful about that, especially Britain. When you see him talk in parliament mm. these days, he's very, very careful about not coming across as too combative because he's not there to fight. Although like, as human beings, when you watch something political, you you are hoping, you want to see that fight. So people are looking for excuses. Like there was one time when, I think when Lawrence Wong was speaking, yeah. he like slapped the, the thing and he stood up. Mm. He stood up, then he bowed and then he, he chow. Mm. Everybody's like, wow, he's not happy, he's not happy. But like, no, he, he, he got a goal. Like, you know, he, he got things to do. <laughs> right, I mean? right. Yeah. Uh, there was one time where, I mean, this this is nothing to do with anything, but it was a, it was a bird and then I saw a car. Yeah. And then after that, right after that, the silhouette, like Pritam is a very... He's a very Distinct distinctive look. silhouette. Yeah. Right. And then I was like, oh shit, I think that's Pritam. Yeah. And then I went close and then I was like, uh, I don't know if it's Pritam or not. And I started like trying to go closer, trying to go closer, trying to go closer. And I think he thinks I'm chasing him. Right. So he went like full on. Like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe he thought like it's some like politician getting chased by like an assassin or something. You think so? You think, so Mr. You think Pritam, be- if that was you, I, I was just trying to see if you were there. Like, I was just a fan. Uh, I don't know your work, but I know that you can't bind me with a string. I know that line. That line was the one that, like, you know, it was a mic drop line that kind of rose you to fame. So, okay. uh, right? I think he, he back then when, like, he was junior, he, he was the one that said, own self, check own self. Yeah. He came out with that. Yeah. That's pretty dumb. Own self, check own yeah, self. He, I, I, I think, if I'm not <coughs> wrong, I was there when he said it in Serangoon Stadium. Is it? When he said, own self, check own self. And I was like, Wah! You know what I mean? With the fucking umbrella. Yeah, yeah. Serangoon Stadium. And for no reason, you would yell like, WP, take how kang, BAP, go long kang. You know, I'm like... What do you mean, no reason? No re- No, it was just like, it was just a fun thing to yell at that time. They take they, they took Seng Kang. <laughs> They took Seng Kang. Oh, Seng Kang. No, they took Seng Kang. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, whoever is fighting against them can go next long year, Kang. Next year, bro. <laughs> next year election, bro. I think it's end of this year. I feel like... Is it? Well, I feel like it's end of this year before everything with MOE happened. I feel like with MOE happening, they well, might like, push MOE it back. suck a cop yeah, I think they might push it back because I feel like that's a big problem that they have to handle. I don't know about whether... I feel like... No, no, by, it, now, by now, solve already, bro. No, I feel like <laughs> it's such a big thing. It could still be, you know, in the consciousness in April. No la, this is probably the largest out of like the many times that shit has happened over there la. I think this is the the largest. Like it has like rippled effect to the the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. well, I don't know, man. But it's it's also a a, a not a large portion of the population la. So yeah, yeah that's also it's not a large portion of the population. But then the McDonald's sometimes is empty la. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, it's empty McDonald's la. and it's not just because I go because there. Because because of the health promotion board, ah, good work la, right? Ah. Right, they just you just put C on everything. Now it's so hard to drink bubble tea. Why? Uh? Because when I fucking go to the bubble tea shop, mm. you they put the A B C D next to the drink, mm-hmm. and all of them is at least a C. Mm. I'm not gonna do that to my hey, body. While we're on sweet drinks, right? Yeah. Can I just say, coffee shop aunties, uh, mm. just print out your pay now, lah. I mean, you got account, right? Just just ask your the younger person to print out the pay now, paste on the wall, lah. So we can pay now you lah. Not a lot of us carry cash. You you want, want me to pay for your drink? Hey, can I boy? Cash on me boy. Mm. Bye boy, cash on me. And I said, mm. no, I need to scan. Cash on me lah. Yeah. Look at me. Like you're so rude, you know. Yeah. Like I, my feelings are hurt. Cash on me lah boy. Yeah, because some of them don't even know. How, like if you put it to pay, pay now, how they get the money out? And they, they, they just, it's inside your bank, auntie. Don't right. like that yeah. lah. I don't have cash. I need to buy soya bean. You the only shop that sells soya bean, you know. If I'm the only shop that sells soya bean, 
Then you better fucking pay with cash ah. I mean, Where to get cash at AT- this ATM is two MRTs down. Two M- <laughs> <laughs> you know and then I pay cash I pay it. then I was trying to pay uh for for soya bean this auntie. Right? Then she already made because she made the soya bean with the machine, you know the machine yeah. where like you have to bake the bubble tea cover yeah, 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 yeah. Right? She gave me some nah. And I said, Auntie, I, I don't have cash to pay huh? you. No cash then how? This one how? Yeah, then how? Right. Yeah. Then I said like uh, uh auntie, I, I I cannot, I cannot blah, blah, blah. then he turned he turned over to the to the to the uh stall in front, uh, Hey, you have cash? Huh? And then the auntie the, the guy was like, Yo cash la, young mind la, book hey ke ni la and I was like Used to sell one na. Used use use for business one na. Yeah. Cannot give you lah. They say yeah. right. They say yeah, right? kinda. Young mai de la. Yeah, yeah, young mai de. Yeah, young mai de la. Pay uh, kini uh, 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 It's not bad. Yeah, it's well, you sound Chinese. Young mai de. I close my eyes. It's like wow. Chinese young mai de la. Okay, I say close your eyes. Close your eyes. Try, try. <coughs> okay. Auntie. Uh, ah, hey, wow. Who's this? Who's this Chinese boy? Auntie, ni ah. Uh huh. Can 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 uh. Ah, someone. Hong Yong pay now ma. Cash only la. Cash only la. Uh. And you have no chain. Young mai de la. Wow. <laughs> you not Chinese ah? <laughs> Mu si. Mu si. I close my eyes. What you mean? It's a Hua Run ne. Mu si. Hua Run. Hua Ma Lai Run. Wow. Salamat. Hari wow. Raya. Cash only ah. <laughs> ni ni chang ke ya mei yong de. Cash only. <laughs> cash only. Ni. Salamat. <laughs> Hari Raya. Hari Uto Kita. Okay. Honestly, every time I go to any shop that tell me cash only. Ah. Uh. The first thought like fucking laundering money. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, that's the first thought. Like, oh, yeah, fucking, it's fucking laundering money. I but that can the auntie launder money, bro. She like just a fat auntie. Just, the mm. auntie is just working. Huh? The money is probably auntie is probably just working for the store. Okay. Like she, it's not. It's probably not that's her true, store. Though, she was wearing a uniform though. Yeah. She smiled I, at me though. I mean, she wasn't rude. I was lying the whole time. She wasn't rude. <laughs> she was smiling. <laughs> She was so kind to me. She Cash wasn't. It was just. It was just funnier if she was a rude auntie. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, she yeah, wasn't. Yeah, she was yeah, so yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. was the nicest. Nice. You marry her. <laughs> <laughs> what if I flip the script, bro, bro? And marry her? No, I just marry like a, like a fat auntie. I be. You know? I. I would love that for you. Yeah, I just marry a fat auntie. Right? I would love that for you. I feel like that would. What would your you. speech at the wedding be like? Like, what would you say? For many years, I've known Fuzz mm. to be uh, uh, a very superficial man, mm. a very materialistic man. Oh, wait, what? Um, and that has all turned out to be untrue. Mm. Now that we are here, mm. with Fuzz marrying this fat auntie, <laughs> we now know that love is real. That is my speech <laughs> at your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is my speech. Okay, okay. at my wedding? Yeah, I know. At my wedding. Oh, at your own wedding. My wedding. Your wedding, I know the speech already. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, your wedding will be like, yo, look at this freaky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this guy likes it like that, guys. Okay. So mine will be like, hey guys, thank you for coming to my wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know this might be a surprise to some of you, mm-hmm. but uh, let's me and I, we've been, we've been friends uh, for about three weeks now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and, and 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 ever since the first time I saw her at Kobala Villas, I thought to myself, "There's something there. There's something there. There's something there. There's definitely something there." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot be nothing. It's so mm. obvious. You can see. Mm. Mm. And 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 when I tasted her pani puri, <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. the real not that's not a euphemism for anything. The real no, you met her at Kobala Villas. Yeah, and she gave you her pani puri. Mm-hmm. Was she selling pani puri inside Komalas Villas? No, I asked for it. So she works at Komalas Villas. No, she's just a she just next next to. Oh, she's yeah, just helpful. Yeah. She, <laughs> so she's helpful. That's why you fall in love. I assume wrong, and, and oh. due to my racism, we had an argument, and then oh. we became. I see. Well, what a journey, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Can you help me get me pani puri?" Say, "I'm not working here." And I was like, "Hmm, that's surprising." Yeah. And I said, "What do you mean surprising?" Because I thought, "Never mind." <laughs> <laughs> all Indians and, and no no I would never say that would you like it if I say all oh, Chinese sell gold yeah dude <laughs> that, huh? that would be a great accomplishment for, huh? for, for my people for sure really you if like all say, of us so gold huh? then none of us would be in those one room flats you huh? know what I mean why can't you like stereotype Malay people with the positive things in our, our community I, I do why can't you say ha ah, you Malay go sell house ah. go, go sell prop next house you know what I mean? Go become real estate agent now. Why, why you can't? No, I would say, hey, Malay, go cook rendang. Ah. Rendang tasty. You will say that? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Like, hey, go cook rendang. Eh, I like. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But right, you, right. Though, you can't assume that all Malays cook rendang though. Sambal kangkong. Sambal kangkong. Yeah. Damn shit. What you know a- sambal kangkong, if you go to a Chinese tuta store, mm-hmm. the Chinese name of sambal kangkong mm-hmm. is Malai Fong Kuang. <laughs> wait, how, wait, how, Malai Fong Kuang. I don't, know, I don't know how to feel about that. Wait, hold Do you on. know what that means? Malai. Malai. Malai means Malay. That's right. Fong Kuang kangkong. No. Fong Kuang is the pride. <laughs> Kang Kong is the pride of Malay people. <laughs> every time, right? Every time I think, right? I'm not going to be surprised by your fuckers, right? Your fuckers surprise me every bloody time. Are you not proud of Sambal Kang Kong though? No. Okay. I'm one in a million because... A million? Okay. Maybe 500,000 max <laughs> in, in Singapore. Because that you don't like Sambal Kang Kong? No, because I don't like Kang Kong. Okay. I had a bad food poisoning experience when ah. I was a child and I used that as my identity right, my whole right, life. Right, 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 right. But you never had like sambal kangkong that you love. No, I don't love sambal kangkong. It always like, like it tastes, I'm more of a spinach guy Oh, okay. because I see okay. Popeye like, eat like, strength. Or like sweet potato leaves, right? That's more, yeah, ah, that's more your vibe. Yeah, that's more my vibe. Yeah, yeah but yeah, like yeah. Uh, Kailan, uh, that's more my vibe. Okay. Yeah, yeah but kangkong is definitely not the pride of, there's so many things that are the pride of our like, Mal- Malay people. Like, why would you say Kangkong. Why oh. would you? Is it because there's belacan in there? I, I don't. I don't know. Like that's that's what it's called in every single Chinese tuta store you go. That's okay. what they call it. Malay Fong Kuang. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've never had anything that we call a Chinese whatever. Is it? Yeah. We don't have. We don't have a mi china. You know. There's we no mi china. There's no mi china. Okay. All right, there's no nasi chi- that's, No, but, that's nasi goreng china. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys That's took, nasi goreng china. Yeah, and you guys took chakwetel as well. You guys took chakwetel and made it wet, you fuckers. Hey, wait, hold up. Hey, it's wet, it's basa. It's not. It's not. It's, it's char say, kway teow. It's, it's fried. in the name kway teow basa. It's, it's, it's char kway teow. Oh, it's supposed to be char. Char, yeah. <laughs> it's not wet. Why is it like drowning? Why is it kway teow? <laughs> yeah, it's so true though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look cute, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look cute. Yeah. So you, you, don't, you don't name your food after Chinese people. You just take Chinese food and fuck it up. That's what you guys do. <laughs> just don't add kang kong in there. We don't add kang kong no in kong. there. There's no kang kong. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. So, so we, 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 we take it and fuck it up. Yeah, that's what you do. Right? You don't name your food after Chinese people. You okay. just take our food and fuck if it up. If you had nasi goreng china, you wouldn't be saying this. Oh okay. yeah, I, I because nasi goreng china is like you know those um Chinese fried rice that's like like yang chow fried rice. Type. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no flaws cause haram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no bacon cause haram. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But there's like an egg and it's basically like a fried rice with like a Chinese twist and it would be very interesting for you to 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 figure a Chinese a, twist. A Chinese twist. But by a Malay man. Uh, no, no. After you make the fried rice, a Chinese person touch it. <laughs> No, a Chinese Smart man yells at it. Go Rah. to school! Go to school! <laughs> Go to this so fuck. Uh, Would why? you are, are you like you brought up property agents just now? Yes. Would you be happy if I if 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 I did that? If I were like, hey, you Malay, can you help me sell a house? Hey, why would you say that? Huh? You is, think all Malay sell house is it? Is there a proud stereotype you you that you like you would have? Like why is I some, would like, like to see positive stereotypes. Like like, like, like why is something like why is like, something you'd be happy if if I if I said like hey you Malaya confirm you fucking music them talented yeah okay yeah huh? yeah I agree right, that. Yeah, right, yeah yeah right. like cause you train a lot at the void deck right <laughs> isn't it <laughs> <laughs> so I can hear bro actually <laughs> this Sunday this past Sunday at my <laughs> block bus. this Sunday at my block I swear mm. you know, <laughs> the whole fucking Sunday the guy just playing guitar the whole neighborhood can hear. Down, down, down. Okay, continue. Okay, 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 okay. Finish the song, finish the song. If you're gonna play the song. Down, down. Whatever lah. It's just fucking, he's just playing. I don't know if it's It Malay. sounds like an electric guitar. Yeah, it, it sounds it's like an electric guitar. It's a fucking electric, electric guitar. guitar. It's he's an electric got a guitar. guitar. It's like, it's like plugged into the M. It's fucking loud, I swear. Like, you can hear it in the whole neighborhood. I don't know. I, honestly, my, my neighborhood on Sunday, very musical. Like, people play guitar. People sing karaoke. Wait, hold on. So, it's not under the block. It's... I don't think so. You cannot assume that it's a, it's it's not a Malay guy. You cannot assume it's a Malay guy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, 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 okay. okay. But it's an electric guitar. Okay lah, but... <laughs> so that means Chinese lah. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I... And property agent... Isn't property agent a Pro- good stereotype? Like, you make a good money what, selling property. Property, okay. You do though, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We miss you a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. You know where that's from? Oh, property agents? You know where's that from? I don't know. <laughs> Stephen Lim. Oh, we miss you a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember now. 
I'll uh, tell you which video but there's one video uh, Stephen Lim just goes miss you a lot my opponent we miss you a lot a lot a lot, a lot. <laughs> and I'm going like yo bro delete this yeah <laughs> delete this bro <laughs> okay whatever works so I feel like there's a lot 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 of Malay people mm. that uh, are now property agents mm. because they've seen the rise of um, the prices of housing and they think they want to get in on it, fam. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. A lot of celebrities, man. Yeah. That are like a lot property. of footballers. Lot of Haris footballers? Harun. Yeah. My fellow Saint Gabriel, my fellow Gabrielite. Really? Haris Harun? Haris Gabriel? Harun was a Sec 5 boy when I was in Sec 1. Fellow Gabrielite. He is the youngest ever uh, Singaporean to debut for the national team at 16 years old. He played okay. for the national team already. Today, okay. Okay. selling property. Shit. <laughs> As Shit. a part-time job. Shit. As a part-time job. I went to this, I went to this uh, uh, guy's house and uh, this guy uh, does like uh, shipping, like, you know, he, he, he's in the shipping business. Right. So he's really rich, right? He's yeah. a Pakistani man. He's really rich. And then I sat down with him and I said, um, you know, normally you ask, uh, 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 you know, you ask a successful man mm. questions because you want to be successful also. Yeah. So I said, um, what is the... It was very interesting because he shared with me um, what he thought. Because I asked him, I said, what is the underlying characteristic somebody needs to have mm. to build wealth? Yeah. And then he looks at me and he goes, your life just has to make sense. You know? Right. You cannot be one foot in and one foot out when you want to go for something. Right. Both foot in. For example, uh, a lot of artists uh, sell things uh, that have nothing to do with them. Right. Like for example, right? You are a footballer. Okay, you entire life your fan base have been built based on football, and suddenly you sell nasi brani. What? <laughs> Who wanna come and buy your nasi brani? Well, football uh, fans you know, eat nasi brani. Yeah, but I'm like, you know, you are football, you sell a uh, boot. You okay. know, or you sell a uh, or, or you open a sports shop, sell uh, jersey or something. It makes sense. Right. You sell brani, you would, then now you have to build another audience from scratch. Right. You know. Is right. it? Then that I was like, oh, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah. so for like you, like you are a stand-up comedian, mm. right? And suddenly you sell nasi lemak. Mm. You think you 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 now you have to be, you think people will buy? And but why my nasi lemak funny? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the leaf yellow color or what? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hi, welcome. Are you guys are watching this? I'm I, I, I'm 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 uh, debuting my uh, my, my item. New, my new nasi lemak. My, my new nasi lemak is called nasi lemak fuzzy. <laughs> Fuzzy nasi lemak. It's yeah. all fuzzy. Yeah. yeah, right. As you can see, so everything that we focus on this nasi lemak is based on texture. Mm. So it's a fuzzy texture. As you yeah. can see, the wrapper of the nasi lemak is also a very fuzzy texture. You can ah, touch it, wow. very fuzzy. Okay, and then like you can sweater, open right? it. You oh, can open wow. it. You can open <gasps> it. Yeah, the fuzz, we have to, yeah, we have to harvest the, the chicken, ah. right, long enough ah. out in the open until the fuzz develops on the wow. top. So you can see that there's the fuzz on the top. This is more like Fuzz. And I can eat. Uh. Uh, I mean, it's funny. Lah. When you <laughs> taste it. <laughs> you can taste right? it. Right? Yeah, 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 you know? That could work. Yeah. Well, Actually, like, I, oh, I mean, we sold some umbrellas at the show. You think that makes sense? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Right? That makes sense because of the cinema that you're in. Ah. Ah. Also, the cinema that you're in, and it's funny. It's a, it's a hilarious umbrella. product. Right, right, It's a right. hilarious product, right? right? I mean, I, I, I would wish it's helpful, useful as well. Like, right? Ronnie sells socks. I think makes sense. Mm. Because the audience uh, need the socks to wear, to wear shoes, to walk to his show. To the theater, yeah. Uh, that makes yeah. sense. Makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Jason sell passport cover because he think everybody rich like him can travel. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the passport cover is because of his, like, that one bit in the in, in the joke, in, in the show, la, right? She don't see it because later he, people yeah. know I don't watch his show. <laughs> I don't, don't yes. you know the other day the other day was so fucked up because like you know what fucked up because like like I mean you know yeah. we're, we're living together right yeah. so he he we go through Netflix right and then suddenly he saw my Netflix account and he's like he's special uh, he's special the first one the, the bar the, the bar. first one is what the first uh, one is uh, 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 not, not Hiti Hiti, Hiti. Yeah. the first one Hiti bro I watch it <laughs> the bar right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no lie then, it's because finish already I watch second then, time and then, then you motherfucker. <laughs> and then he puts up my special. You see? Finish, bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Hey, yo, so, put thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put thing lah, put thing lah. So, back, yeah, so, you know. What, support your friends. What the fuck? Support, <laughs> support your friends. Watch, support watch your their friends, specials. Uh. So, nasi, 
like, do you think that you could sell bakwa? Hmm, I think I could honestly, mm. but like bakwa is a seasonal product, mm. right? Like Chinese New Year, I think I could probably sell like I don't know, ten twenty packets of bakwa. You mean like y'all don't like eat bakwa like normally? Not usually lah. I mean, the shops are open and no one's stopping you. Mm. Actually, I I think I read somewhere we got some shop are trying to make it happen like like just a bakwa bun like have bakwa, mm. you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. right now it's a like as a market it's it's very satur- focused on Chinese mm. New Year. Like they like the money they make from Chinese New Year probably mm. pays for rent the whole year. Okay, I would think so. Oh shit! You mean like Bi Cheng Hyang like doesn't sell bakwa like on other? They do, yeah. but people don't buy. Huh? People only buy for Chinese New Year. Shit. Yeah, okay. because it's like a it's like a gift. Right. You give it to people. Right. 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 Like I feel like if people give you bakwa, you will eat. Like I generally wouldn't be craving bakwa because it's something mm. that is like very unhealthy. It's like ketupat ah, right? Like ketupat. Um, when you order satay, you always eat one. Ma. No man. <laughs> they give you the that's, satay. That's a fair point actually. They give you the satay. Ketupat does come with satay. Yeah. And we do eat it and not. You know what? And then you go like, what about lontong? Is that only a specific? No, lontong, yeah, lontong is all good. year round. Yeah. Rendang is all year round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there Nasi ayam food? merah is all year round. Yeah, yeah. Ayam masak merah is all year round. Paru is all year round. Every Malay food you see Salted you ha- egg all year round you, no, we, That's not ours That's yours That yeah. we have appropriated But that's yours Yeah I, I only eat salted okay. egg When I eat nasi padang that, Why would you eat salted egg When you eat nasi padang There's so many other options Why you want to choose The one that you are familiar with Eat paru or something <laughs> What happened the last time We ate paru first I don't know what happened the last you time You ordered a paru At the Indian rojak place And we, we couldn't we chew, couldn't it. chew <laughs> it We couldn't chew it That's true We couldn't chew it That was <laughs> that three was in the morning okay. The paru decided that's- <laughs> that's so thick It was fucking Eating rubber yeah. That's so fucked up uh, Okay Okay paru. fair yeah. Fair uh, No paru No yeah. paru yeah. Um, I like long tong though Like it's I feel like Sometimes when I'm sad I have a long tong It It, 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 it cheers it, you it up It warms me up And it you know Puts me at ease mm. Yeah What about mi rubus Mi, mi rubus <laughs> I like mi soto more <laughs> Me ah huh? I'm like mi rubus is like okay to me. Like I feel like the what flavor. is the gravy is a nut gravy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah right. Because Hadi Hadi Mirza sells it with the satay. Fuck off! Hadi Mirza sells mi rubus with satay with sat- gravy. Uh, 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 our marketing guy at the back. Amo kill. Our marketing guy at the right? back is Amo kill. That's right. Amo kill. Yeah, Amo yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, kill. Yeah, mi rubus <laughs> then the satay sauce. So oh like fuck! So like they use the so satay sauce as super peanutty you in are, the mi rubus. I bet. Wow! And he okay lah, okay lah, okay lah, okay lah. Struggle lah with that one. I think it's like a, his family business or so. It's oh not wait, like, so like he's always been selling it? Like a long time, oh, long shit. time. Like the Mirzas were, were a thing before Hardy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, okay guys, we got a segment at the Mirzas. Oh right? my god, yeah, we have a we segment. We got a segment. Uh, hmm. What was the segment called? Can I called? just say, can uh-huh. I just say, uh-huh. Bottle Life is the life. Bottle Life. Bottle Are you going to get a, a, a I'm folder? I'm going to get a sling like a, like a, you know. What? Like, <laughs> like a, yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who have listened to this point, this is great because we now have come to a point where uh, we are uh, still segment. Uh, we have a, right. a segment, a segment, segment, a segment. We're going to play it. I'm afraid you have cannot, you have cannot arrested. Oh no, cannot. Cannot, yeah. Alamak. Thank you for visiting uh, our clinic, uh, uh-huh. sir. Uh, I'm afraid to have to tell you that you uh, have hemorrhoids. <gasps> Kena. Kena hemorrhoids. Kena. Eh, hey, your, uh, your, your fries inside got one curly fries, yeah? Uh-huh. Kena. Kena. Why the fries curly Kali. inside? Kena. 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 No, I have not bro, seen Dr. Bombay. my man, he's a Swedish guy, a white guy, uh, bro. Uh-huh. Swedish guy. And his whole dick, right, is like he dresses up as a as a Punjabi fella or like a as, as a Punjabi fella and he calls himself Dr. Bombay. Uh-huh. And his and his fucking song, right? It's a fucking white guy, you know. His song is Calcutta. I drive my little taxi in Calcutta. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it's a white guy. But he, but he I looks... am a taxi driver in Calcutta. Taxi, taxi, taxi in Calcutta. No? Wow, you're all really quiet because I'm being racist. <laughs> it's a song. You dig it, it's a song. God damn. 
<laughs> but you are you're not a bro- you're not a white guy. Ah, oh Calcutta. That's his that's his single. Yeah, taxi driver. Okay. I am a taxi driver. Uh, da, da, da. That's him. Bro, that's a bro, that's black face right there, bro. Come on, bro. That's him. Nice. Bro, he gold face his face, bro. Gold face, fuck? okay lah. He's saying that Indian people got gold skins, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Okay, first question. <laughs> uh Diddy at home asks, what are your uh, what are some of your major triggers? Major triggers. Major triggers. Uh I get triggered when the small talk. I don't like small talk. Okay. Although I am aware that small talk is required yeah. to lubricate conversation, it's just it's just painful. I to don't me. like it also. Yeah, it's just painful to yeah, me. Especially in like big public social settings, it's like, hey, how's yeah. it going? I'm like, mm, yeah, and like have, mm. if I ask you how you are, if I do ask you, it means I really care. But a lot mm. of the times I really don't. Right. You know, I just I'm trying to be polite. Mm. You know, yeah. yeah. Because if I don't, then I'm a, I'm an asshole mm. for not asking you. But yeah. I really don't care. But but don't you think every conversation has to kind of start with small talk? Yeah, it's right. like a warm up conversation, right? right? So it's just that part that I really wish I could like get past. You know, I I feel like sometimes you do small talk with a person, mm. knowing that there is no conversation happening after mm. that one. I cannot. You know okay, I mean? like like when you bump into someone, like hey, yeah. what's up? Like mm. okay, bye. Mm. That was a very pointless thing to me. Uh, like, mm. But like, if you like seeing someone, mm. I would think that you have a little bit of small talk to get into the whatever conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, that's to warm up, to get into the the, the, the meat of the conversation that, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. really want to get. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah, small talk is what triggers me. Uh, um, I don't like it when people ask me questions, like ask for my opinions, when it's like quite clear that it doesn't matter. I know what your trigger is. What? When somebody asks him to dance. Yeah, I don't like to dance. King Tulan. I don't like to dance. Whenever somebody asks Jackie to dance, you see the whole vibe change. Don't ask me to do fucking some TikTok dance trend lah. Like, it's just, I just don't want to do it. It's not that he's above it. He's not. He doesn't think it's beneath him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just... <laughs> It's not beneath me. I just don't enjoy it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I'm, if I'm, and if I'm not enjoying it, I don't want that, that, that my, my negative vibe to pull down your video. I, yeah, I, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because can feel one, bro. Can feel one. Yeah, can feel. And it sucks. I, I really, I don't like it. Ah, see, trigger. Talk about it. Really okay, trigger. I don't ah, like. yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, uh, I guess I get triggered when, uh, when people talk about like. I'm generally okay with like the old man stuff. Right. You know, but like if it's said like with um with a spirit of jest. Right. You know? Right. When somebody really comes up to you, oh fucking old like like you can feel like maliciousness in their voice. Uh, then I'm like, hey bro. Right. You know. I think sometimes just, you get quite triggered when like when you think somebody's joke is like hack or cheap. Like yeah. somebody makes fun of your bald head and things like that, you get very triggered uh, by those. Well, uh, like when it's a simple joke. Because Mostly because you've heard it so many times, lah, right? I've That's been probably bald for f- probably fourteen years, mm. like, and there's so many bald people in this world. Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, we've already established the baldness that is in my life. It's fun, but it's funny, why? You have to yeah, admit it's that. Hilarious. It's hilarious. I went on a that. talk show one time. These motherfuckers had like bald caps. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were like, we want to be a. We wanna be one with you. That's a great idea. We should. Can we yeah, take note on idea. There's a, some props? Like that, that <laughs> I could have not been more triggered on that fucking episode. Right. Cause I was just like, I don't care if if you don't like my shit or whatever, but don't disrespect me by I don't know, man. I just Yeah, I mean I I, I see dumb, that. You know I, I see mean? that. It's but dumb. I feel like you are just very triggered because it is something that people always hit you with. Right? And you have no and there's no tiring. argument back. There's yeah. no argument back, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, congrats on your hair, I guess. Yeah, dude, thank you. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So but yeah, it, I don't like it when people ask me for my opinion. When it's very clear that they don't want. Like, when I go out with my parents, my mom's like, what do you want to eat? Then I'm like, I want to eat laksa. Laksa nice, man. Like, fuck you mm, up. Then you ask for what? Mm, mm, yeah, la, yeah, yeah la. La. Things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sometimes yeah. clients do that and I, I fucking yeah, eat it. Yeah. Uh, what do you think we should do with this? Uh, we should do a TikTok. We should, we should do a skit video. Ah, can I? Can I can ah, work? You really? Uh, then, then don't then ask. Don't, la. then Just then tell me what the fuck you want. You yeah. I mean? Don't ask. Yeah, okay. So these are trigger. This, yeah. this is the vibe that you, you ask for. You know, this who, is the question. Who asked this question? Didi at home. Stay at home. Uh. What a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, okay. Got, you got us next, triggered. Yeah, next question. Question. I think we got time for like three or four questions. Uh, yeah. uh, what, one, one question. Last one. We can go a little longer. We yeah. can go a little longer. Uh, MH Carl asks. MH Carl. 
Could you share your favorite bits or jokes from a stand-up comic which inspire your own style of comedy? Wow. Uh, wow. wow. Do you, you know what? Actually, today I saw something. Today I saw... What's that guy that got fired from SNL? Uh, Gillis. Yeah, Sean Gillis. He, so he just went Jane. back to do his... Uh, uh, monologue. Monologue. What an inspiration. Well, I thought it was all right. Oh, no. I mean, the fact that he did that move. Was his, yeah, well, I thought the monologue was like all right. Because if you go back in history, Norm had the best... Fired from SNL and then come back Monolog. to host. Do you, have you seen that? No. So he got fired from SNL because he was making jokes about the uh, the, the black guy that that, that shot. What's his guy's name? OJ Simpson. He was making a lot of OJ Simpson jokes. No. First of all, first of all, mm. OJ didn't allegedly shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stabbed. Sure. Okay. So yeah, Norm, just because he's black doesn't mean that his mode of murder allegedly would be. Gunshot Sure yeah Well whatever it is Norm just had a lot of jokes About OJ lah right okay. And you know OJ is probably friends With like the network executives mm -hmm. So they fired Norm mm -hmm. And the reason That SNL gave When they fired him Was that he's not funny He's enough. not He's not funny enough To be mm -hmm. on the show And then blah 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 blah. One and a half years later He's back hosting the show mm -hmm. He's like Alright I don't know if you guys know this But I was fired from this show One and a half years ago Because they said I was not funny enough mm. And then now I'm back here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure you're wondering, how can someone like go from not funny enough mm. to be even let back into the building mm -hmm. to much less hosting the fucking show? Mm. Like, how is it possible that I have become so much funnier? I thought about it and I think it's not true. I have not become funnier. This show just sucks now. <laughs> <laughs> you say that live on SNL. This show sucks now. Like, so stick around. We have a bad show for you. Ah. <laughs> that is like legend. And I think Norm always has that attitude towards comedy. He's not trying, like, he is, he is being an asshole, but he's just poking. He's not like, right, 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 he's not right. like, you know, fuck you guys or whatever. He's, he's, he's always been like that cheeky guy. He that, is definitely like one of those, um, the, the guys that are, it's just matter of fact, uh, like it yeah. just never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Good, it's good. Actually, sometimes right, when you when because I'm always into like black comedians like yeah. Rock, Cat Williams, and all that, and I've always been like around that culture. Like I've never really liked white comedians that much, Point you know. Enough, yeah. So when when um when I think Cam likes Gillis the most, I think Cam was mm. the first one to ever, ever like introduce Gillis. And at first I saw it, I was like, mm, maybe I'm not really that interested in his style. Mm. But then when you see about like people like Gillis and Norm, they're so like themselves mm -hmm. you know and, and and when I say it I'm just like envious of the fact that they can just be themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. and are so hilarious when they're and they're, because they're so relaxed like yeah. Gillis does not have the amount of like punches like Norm does yeah but he just has that thing about him you know he, he does but I, I think he, he like when you watch his clips online he, he he's he crushes it in front of his own audience and he's developed that massive mm. audience that supports him because of what happened to him. Mm. Like he got cancelled and the people that support him think that's fucked up. Mm. That's why he has that fan base. Yeah. And so that's why actually when he went back into SNL, mm. he 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 kind of like bombed a bit. Oh. Like he and he acknowledged it. He was just like, okay, some of you don't like that joke. Oh. Like, okay, I'm I'm so sorry. Like, like he like even though oh, wow. he, like you can hear laughter, like, but he, he can see the crowd didn't like his jokes because he is actually a very uh, dark comedian in a uh, way. Yeah. Oh, so he went light out with that shit. He, uh, he said like, these are, these are the only jokes I have that can be on TV. Wow. <laughs> and even those are really quite offensive about his like, uh, Down syndrome, uh, mm. knees and, mm. and, and, and all these things like yeah. that. The FYP has been full of Down, work, Down syndrome kids that work out. Yeah, no, not kids, yeah, sorry, Down yeah, syndrome yeah. people that work out. Yeah, I mean, it's not just no. work out, like they have them doing like cooking, they have them doing sports and no, it's just... The one like, the, Love on the Spectrum. Love on the Spectrum. Uh, Love on the Spectrum. Right. That's a Netflix show. Handsome. Love that's on the. A, <laughs> that's a Netflix show. That, bro, like. Do you I, hate it? Do you hate it? I when don't you hate see it. I don't them hate finding it. love before you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> that's true. Well, that's not true. They, they have a niche market. That's all, all right, fair. All right. So there's one uh like the comment section when you see Down syndrome cases like you know when you see muscular ones this must be their leader. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Fucked up. So I I saw a video. Which was if Anna Schwarzenegger and this uh and this uh um, okay Anna Schwarzenegger and this uh Dawson Dumke this uh, Dawson Dumke was in front of Anna and he was like flexing yeah. and then at the back of the camera guy he got like he's just got good genetics seriously <laughs> he's Down syndrome yeah but good genetics yeah but he, like you know good genetics allow you to pump harder in the gym yeah, right? but what's your what's your, what's a bit that inspired you oh okay we're still <laughs> on that. 
Uh, well, a lot of my early work was always about Chris Rock, that preacher style comedy. So there was this time, I mean, it's a very easy one now, where, where Chris Rock said something like, uh, oh, all women are liars. He said right. that in a room full of like, in, 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 in a full theater, right? Everybody booing him, booing him, Abu, you're all liars. And then, and then he started pointing, you were liar, you were liar, you were liar, you were liar. And then he was like, uh, uh, like, you wearing heels, you ain't that tall, right? You right. wear makeup, your face don't look like that, right? right? right, like, right. You wearing bra, your titties ain't in that big, <laughs> you know? Like, not, like it's a very old school style, but like, right. that was not really the bit that inspired me, but it's more of like, how he turned the room around. Right. The attitude to just stand in front of the crowd booing you and be like, fuck you, fuck you. Like, that fuck kind you. Of... And, then, and then say something and everybody like clap for him after that. Right. And I'm like, wow, I need to learn to do that. Right. Yeah, right, that's right, what right. I like. You yeah, know, that's yeah, like real skill right there. So right, that's, right, that's, right. that's Yeah, that's I, I used to watch a lot of uh, Stuart Lee, this British comedian, and he, mm. would, and he would do that on purpose. Like if you read his book, he'd be like, you know, that, like preparing for a special or whatever. He would just fucking say the worst things to dig himself into the deepest hole possible. Mm. And then when he feels he's there, that's when he starts working to Ooh. get himself out. Things like that. Yeah. Ooh. Like a real skill to have. Yeah. And I mean it's not for the weak. It's not for the weak. But it's like it's like fun if you can pull it off. Huh? Sometimes you feel it like, okay, fuck this one. If if, if the next time I do don't work, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Then go down all the way. Bro, kind I of would shit. swear. <laughs> <laughs> I would just swear. Yeah. Okay, last question before uh. we wrap this up. Uh, it's not a question. Oh, oh sorry. At D. Dot Dome asks okay. if you reach 10k followers, boom, three, three of you should oil up. Oil up, uh. The fuck does that mean? What the f- you want us to oil up if we hit 10,000 followers? <laughs> Wait, I think what, he, what he's trying to say is uh, uh, oil our bodies and do what? And do what? This, 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 Homie, that's all up, and then maybe if we. What if do you go, think? That's a little uh, oh, if, erotic. Like if we if we go to the beach and we're getting a tan, that makes sense. Like I don't want to come to the studio oil up. Then every then them disgusting. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not oil up. Okay, you know what? If we reach thank you, uh, by this week you can oil my head. Okay. Okay. By this, oh my god, we'll be in Melbourne too. Yeah, you can oil Holy my head. We'll send you a video of Jackie oiling my head. Okay, if you want. <laughs> You want that so much. 10K on Instagram. Is 10K that, is on Instagram. Saying? You get to oil my head. If we hit 10K this week. By this week. week, uh, by this week uh, if not the offer, done Well, this week, uh. but this comes out on a Friday. So, you mean uh, Sunday? Next week, uh, next week. By, uh, by next, next Friday. Friday. Next, 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 the, the, the Friday the, the, by the next release. Uh. Okay. okay. Before the next app. If, if okay. we have 10K followers on Instagram. How, how, how many do we have now? Okay, you know what? You can oil my head and then you can play like a beat. Okay? That's it. Holy shit. Okay. Nine six eight one. Nine six. Oh shit! We just three hundred plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just all my head and then play like a beat. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Why if we already have ten k before this apps drops? Nah, then no. Too bad, oh. <laughs> too bad, oh. Yo, better not promote the page, oh, before this. <laughs> right. <laughs> then, then maybe I don't know. Fifteen by then. Huh? Fifteen. <laughs> April already, you know what I mean? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 okay. No, I think we can do it. 12K. Okay, yeah. Uh, By okay, the uh, end of you get to next week. It and you get to play a beat. Pa, pa, yeah. pa, 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 DM pa, me the beat pa, pa, you pa, want, pa, guys. Pa, 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 DM me the beat you want. Okay? DM the beat you want, yeah. DM the beat you want. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's been the More Better Podcast. I love you. Ciao, Bye-bye. see ya. The goal we put there, momentum. More better, let me put